Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The energy regulator has rejected ESCOM's latest revenue application for the three-year tariff cycle starting in 2022 and has proposed that it be submitted again under a new methodology. Terence Creamer joins me to discuss the development and its implications. Welcome, Terence. Hi, Sashni. So what has the energy reg regulator decided in relation to the so-called MYPD5 application? Yeah, so Eskom made a submission in early June with the next uh, tariff application, basically. It's a revenue application which get converted in, into a tariff. And basically it's for a three-year period starting next year, April. So a sort of normal routine where we know that we have these multi-year mm -hmm. tariff determinations and uh, we have public hearings and we have public comment. And then NERSA comes to a decision which is usually uh, high profile and controversial. So that was the sort of normal process that we were expecting to enter into towards the end of this year. So that by the end of December, maybe early January, we have visibility of what the tariff trajectory would be for the coming uh, three year period. Now we know that there's been changes, uh, tweaks to the methodology. We, uh, it, uh, in the way it's an allowable revenue methodology. So um, uh, Eskom has to first see if this is compliant. And once the nurse uh, says, yes, it's compliant, then they publish it on their website. Then there's written comments, then there's the public hearings. So that was what was expected. But uh, uh, two, a week and a bit ago, NERSA put out a consultation paper on a new methodology. And in a, at the energy regulators, this is the decision-making body of, of NERSA, uh, meeting this week, it was decided, no, they're going to reject the, the application that was submitted by Eskom in June and rather ask Eskom to submit again uh, under a new methodology but this, uh, which has not yet been finalised or under the current methodology but only for one year. So that's sort of where we, we stand. That was the decision yesterday to not accept the three-year application by Eskom and preferably ask Eskom to submit again in terms of this, uh, this revised methodology which is now going to be consulted. And what's the reason for this decision? Well, we know that uh, over the last uh, number of years uh, we've seen a massive surge in tariffs. So the regulator's view is that the current methodology hasn't been able to keep uh, prices stable in the electricity sector. Eskom's view is that actually the methodology has just been very badly uh, applied by NERSA and that's why we've seen these, uh, uh, the, the application has been bad rather than the actual methodology. So there's already a bit of a contestation. They, they, they also say that we've come to the end of the MIPD4 uh, cycle and therefore the methodology used is no longer valid. Now Eskom's view is that there's never, a methodology doesn't expire until there's a new methodology, there's only one methodology in place. And a nurse's view is that we should consult the public, that we should uh, uh, have a new, on a new methodology based on new principles mm -hmm. rather than the current one to try and get a more stable trajectory for tariffs. Whether that, uh, will, uh, whether that will actually happen in practice is an, uh, another question. Also, they note that there's a a uh, big change underway in the electricity sector, most notably that Eskom is by the end of the year going to be broken into three and that we need to sort of a cost to serve approach where, uh, for each of the different units of Eskom. So generation, uh, the ITSMO, which is the independent transmission system and market operator, and then the, the distribution unit, which are going to be separated, uh, starting with the ITSMO at the end of the year. So they say the methodology is no longer really fit for purpose. It hasn't really served South Africa well, and therefore they would like to consult on a new methodology. Has ESCOM responded to the decision? Well, not immediately. They've said they're keeping their options open. Um, basically, the one option is to take this to court. Now, we know that ESCOM has been very successful in recent years. Every time they've taken the regulator to court, they've actually won. Their argument is that until there's a new methodology, we can't make a submission. And anyway, it takes nine to 12 months for Eskom to do all the consultation, all the work to prepare a submission under the current methodology. Now, nurses only just kicked off a consultation process, so they've issued a consultation paper on on a proposed new methodology, but it doesn't actually contain a methodology yet. So there's no visibility 
of a methodology uh, in that consultation paper. Th there's going to be a public hearings towards the end of October. Uh, only then will there be a decision on whether they're going to change the methodology, what the methodology is going to be like. That takes us deep in a sort of optimistic time frame, deep into November, probably before we uh, have a methodology. Then you're saying Eskim make a submission. Now Eskim's going to have to get their head around this uh, and do all the numbers, do all the consultation. They have to cons consult with Salga, they have to consult with the National Treasury before they can make a submission. That takes time. So really the, the line in the sand is really the, the the 15th of March, which is when uh, the new tariff for the year, uh, financial year has to be submitted to lawmakers in Parliament so that they can then tr transpose that into the municipal tariffs which come in in July. I, I can't see uh, how it's uh, feasible uh, really to do that and I think that's going to be Eskim's, very much Eskim's argument. Are there in engagements with NERSA around maybe a one-year application or more likely actually through a court process. And what are the implications of this decision? Well, the, well, the implications are, are very serious for Eskom. Obviously, they need to have a tariff in place that needs to be determined by the regulator. That's what the law says. Tariffs don't just roll over, so you need a determination. So uh, basically, the consumer pays for uh, Eskom's revenue uh, through the tariffs. And that's how the business is most I is uh, made somewhat viable. As we know, it's not a viable going concern without uh, taxpayer help at the moment. They're getting injections from the Treasury every year this year. Last year, they got 56 billion. But basically, the revenue application is between 250 and 300 billion rand a year. If you don't have a tariff covering uh, that 300 billion, and then obviously uh, the, the injections that they're getting, so Eskim's not going to be able to come out. So will, will the full 300 billion have to come from the worst case scenario from the taxpayer, which we know mm. we can't do. So there has to be some sort of resolution. Either the, the, um, Eskim will take this to court and they'll say, no, you have to adjudicate the MIPD 5 application, which is before you, which has been mm. before you, NERSA, since the 2nd of June. Or the court will say, come to some sort of settlement around um, making an application under the current methodology, probably for just one year while NERSA sorts out uh, um, the, the future methodology. I think the timing mismatch is a big problem um, and the rejection of uh, NERSA uh, at its, uh, oh, of the energy regulator didn't really take, seem to take that timing mismatch into account. So it's a big issue and uh, these are big decisions and have massive implication for every single South African. So I think uh, there will have to be resolution that has to come pretty soon. Thanks for speaking with us, Terence. Pleasure. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.